So let's switch over to the new lights and look at the improvement. All right, and here's the after. That is awesome. I didn't expect it to be quite that dramatic. Hey guys, what's going on? Starting this one off in the garage with some crappy lighting, and there's a reason for that. Uh, the products I'm reviewing today, the first one is uh, light replacements. So the LEDs in the trunk, and you can also replace a few in the doors, or there's a few places where you can decide where to put these. Uh, and they make it much brighter. Uh, and then the second item is like an organizer that you can use in the trunk. Um, and we'll look at that uh, when it's daytime and I have better lighting. Just so you know, these products were sent to me for free to share with you and to give you my honest opinion on them. All right, so really quick, here's the before. This is the stock lights in the Tesla trunk. Uh, I placed some items in there just to kind of give you an idea of how bright it is and how well you can see. So let's switch over to the new lights and look at the improvement. All right, and here's the after. That is awesome. I didn't expect it to be quite that dramatic. Um, but you can obviously see everything much more clearly with the new lights. Uh, I did both sides. There's one light on this side and one light on this side, and I did both. Um, so I will show you how to do that. I'm going to film the rest of this video in the daylight where I have good lighting, though. All right, it's the next day. So you saw how bright the lights were. I'm really impressed. I put back the original lights, and now I'm going to show you how to install them in the trunk really quick. And then me personally, the other two lights, I'm going to put in the passenger door and in the driver's door. Uh, and the installation is the same there. So I'll just show you these really quick, and then I'll show you the storage solution I have. Okay, so we're going to start on the right side of the trunk. I'm going to start with this light only because it was giving me a little more trouble than the other side. So I'm just going to show you this one, and then you can apply you know, that same uh, technique to the other one. There's a little clip here. Uh, let me just get close so you can really see what I'm talking about. So there's that clip on the side that you can uh, put the screwdriver to get it out. And what I did is I put my screwdriver here. I, I'm using a bigger one. This isn't the one that came with the kit. And I put it here, and I just twisted. And it makes a loud clicking noise, and it comes right out of there. And then you can just pull it down. Now mine's a little loose because I already did this. Um, but there is a plastic bracket in here. So here's the plastic bracket. You can just use your fingers up in here to adjust it, and you want to clip the light back in to this uh, when you're done. Okay, so this is actually the replacement light, but it's easier for me to show you. So on the light that's in the wire, all you're going to do is I'm going to stick the screwdriver in here, I'm going to push down, and I'm just going to pull the light out. So let me show you that. So I take this, I stick the screwdriver in here, and I just pull the light, and it comes right out. Really simple. And then to put the other light in, make sure that this is in here. Usually it stays up here. And then all you do is slide this in. And it clicks, and there's your new light. Uh, and you just do that on both sides. And if you want to do the doors, it's the exact same procedure. So that's that. And then after it's in, this is probably the hardest part, which isn't even that hard. You just have to line up the plastic square in here. And then you want to put your light back in. It should make a clicking noise as you do it. And then your light is secure. It's not gonna come out of there. So just do that to both sides and you got your upgraded lights. You can also put the lights anywhere else that the chart shows you here. And these lights work for the model S, X, or 3. All right, don't mind the cicadas. I hope they're not too loud. The next item I thought would go well with this kind of trunk upgrade theme was just a little storage kit. So this gives you a lot of storage pockets and everything to organize some stuff in the trunk. Uh, so you got this piece, which I assume is a little floor. I don't know exactly. Stuff like this, even though it seems simple, I think it should always come with directions because, you know, they have ideas for all this, and I don't know exactly what they're going for with all the pieces. Um, so that's just kind of my little complaint. Okay. So you push that piece down, and that kind of gives you a hard floor so it won't collapse anymore. And then this piece attaches to both sides. So now you have kind of two compartments. And then if you want, you can even add this piece to the Velcro. Just doing this really quick. And now I have three compartments. So the cool thing that I'm excited about is putting it in the lower storage area here. And so you got this area. And look at that, it fits almost perfectly. Um, I mean, it fits great. There's just a little tiny bit of extra space uh, kind of here on the side. You could throw some stuff in there if you want. But now this whole lower area is like organized. So that's really nice. That's a pretty cool kit. So then you can close this. And there's that. It's in there. Fits perfectly. Uh, you can still close this, of course. Be pretty useless if you couldn't. Um, I'll also have a link to this floor mat. This is also really nice. 
Now this netting piece with the stock Model 3 trunk is not very useful. There aren't places to clip these clips, um, so I can't really set this net up. Uh, but I know that there are modifications where people have added hooks kind of onto the roof of the trunk, and then you could uh, clip it up there and kind of store stuff in the top, I suppose. Uh, but just so you know, you're gonna get this netting, and it's at least in the Model 3, it's not gonna fit, maybe the S or the X. Um, or if you have another car, I know this would work in our uh, Equinox, so we might use it there. Okay, and for those curious, I just thought about this. It kind of fits in the frunk. Uh, it does come up above the top a little bit, and when you close the frunk, if you look here, it does, well, you can't see it, but it does touch. Um, now, with not much force, you can close it, um, but it did kind of squish it down just a little bit. Uh, so, just so you know, that's how it fits in there if you want to try it. And it does have Velcro on the bottom, so when you open your frunk, uh, it will be stuck to the carpet if you got carpet, if you don't have the standard range. All right, so there's just a couple of pretty cool upgrades for the trunk. Those lights were amazing, really bright. In my opinion, a little too bright for the interior, but I'm excited to have them in my trunk and in the puddle lights. And then the organizer. Uh, that's really cool that it fits in that kind of lower storage area of the trunk. If you're interested in any of these, I'll have my Amazon affiliate link in the description below and use my discount code, which will be in the description to get 20% off. If you have any questions about the items in this video, just uh, leave them below and I'll get those answered for you. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you next time.